Hello everyone, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting radical equation problem. Equation is x equal to 6 times square root of 1 minus x whole cube and we will be solving for real values of x. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation first. So I can consider LHS should be positive. So x should be greater than 0 for real x. Similarly, this radicant must also be positive. So for this we can write x should be less than 1. Once I will take intersection of these two conditions, I can get x should lie in the interval 0 and 1. So our answer will be in between 0 and 1. Now I will write our equation x equal to 6 times square root of 1 minus x whole cube. Let's consider squaring both sides. So I will write power 2, power 2, power 2. Now we can cancel the square root with the square from our RHS. So we can write x square will be equal to 36 times 1 minus x whole cube. As per our equation, if I will check at x equal to 1, then LHS will be 1 here and RHS will be 0. 1 is not equal to 0, so we can say x cannot be 1 for our equation. So I can divide here both sides by 1 minus x whole cube. This side also. 1 minus x whole cube as x is not equal to 1. Now we will cancel 1 minus x cube, 1 minus x whole cube from numerator and denominator. So equation will become x square over 1 minus x whole cube equal to 36. x square over 1 minus x whole cube equal to 36. Now we will use substitution. Let's consider x equal to 1 over y. So we will write our equation as 1 over y whole square. This will be 1 over y square over 1 minus 1 over y whole cube equal to 36 or we can write 1 over y square over y minus 1 whole cube over y cube equal to 36 or I can write y over y minus 1 whole cube equal to 36. Let me write here. But before that, friends, if you are an Olympiad aspirant or planning to do preparation for SOF, Crest, Unicus, Silver Zone, Asset, Indian Talent Olympiad, Hummingbird, from grade 2 to grade 10, then Olympiad Success offers you live interactive sessions, PYQs, tests, and many more. Please check out the description box for further details and use referral code GYAN15 to get 15% discount. Let's come back to our problem. So I will write y over y minus 1 whole cube equal to 36. Now I can add 1 and subtract 1 in the numerator. So let me subtract first and then add. Now I will split our numerator with y minus 1 and 1. So I can write y minus 1 over y minus 1 whole cube plus 1 over y minus 1 whole cube equal to 36. Now we can cancel y minus 1 from the numerator and denominator. It will be power 2 left. So I can write 1 over y minus 1 whole square or we can write the complete square here 
plus this will be equal to 1 over y minus 1 whole cube equal to 36. Now our obvious substitution is there 1 over y minus 1 let's say this is equal to m. So I will write one cubic equation as m square plus m cube equal to 36 or m cube plus m square minus 36 equal to 0. Let me write this equation here. m cube plus m square minus 36 equal to 0. I will use method of factorization. We can write our equation as m cube m square we can write minus 3m square plus 4m square. Then we will write minus 36 equal to 0. Now from first two terms we can take m square common. So in the bracket here we will be writing m minus 3. From last two terms I can take 4 common out. So in the bracket we will get m square minus 9 equal to 0. So we can write m square times m minus 3 plus 4 times m square minus 3 square. We can use difference of two squares identity m minus 3 times m plus 3 equal to 0. Now m minus 3 is overall common. So we can write m minus 3 times m square plus 4 times m plus 3 equal to 0 or we can write m minus 3 times m square plus 4m plus 12 equal to 0. So from here I can conclude either m minus 3 equal to 0 or quadratic m square plus 4m plus 12 equal to 0. Let's solve these two equations one by one. I will write m square plus 4m plus 12 equation first equal to 0. Let's check the discriminant value. As per formula, this is b square minus 4 times ac. Here a is 1, the coefficient of m square, b is 4, the coefficient of m, and c will write constant, which is 12 here. So d will come out 4 square minus 4 times. 1 times 12. So I can get 16 minus 12 times 4, 48. This will give us negative 32. Our discriminant is negative. So we can conclude we will get complex solutions. Complex solutions. So we can reject this quadratic equation rejected. Now the turn of first equation. Equation was m minus 3 equal to 0. So we will get m equal to 3. Now m was our substitution 1 over y minus 1. So I can write here 1 over y minus 1 equal to 3. Consider reciprocal both sides. So we will switch numerator denominator. So y minus 1 will be equal to 1 over 3. Add 1 to both sides. So y will come out 1 plus 1 over 3. This will be equal to 4 over 3. So the value of y is 4 over 3. Let me write here. y is equal to 4 over 3. Now our very first substitution was 
x equal to 1 over y. So I can write here y is equal to 1 over x. Now I will write here 1 over x equal to 4 over 3. Again I will switch numerator and denominator or take a reciprocal both sides, we will get our final answer x equal to 3 over 4. Now we are going to verify our result. So verification equation is here LHS will be equal to x equal to 3 over 4. Now RHS equal to 6 times 1 minus x whole cube. So we will be writing 6 times square root of 1 minus 3 over 4 whole cube. 6 times square root. This will be 4 minus 3 over 4. So I can write 1 over 4 whole cube. Or we can write 6 times square root of 1 over 64. Or we can write 6 times 1 over 8. Or 6 over 8. Both numbers are even. We will divide by 2. So we will get 3 over 4. LHS is 3 over 4. RHS is also 3 over 4. That is why our solution 3 over 4 is verified answer. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Take care of yourself.